Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Generating New World. I am iTechify, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use InvEdit on Mac. Now, what InvEdit is, is a program that allows you to edit your Minecraft inventory. And it's only Windows at the moment, but here's an easy to follow video tutorial of how to do this on Macintosh computers, or Apple if you want to call it that. Alright, so you see how I have InVedit on my desktop, so go ahead and download that. Post the link in the description to download that. Also, the other thing you're going to need is this thing called Mono. It's just a framework that I'll also post in the description that you're also going to need. So, this is basically what it is. When you open it up, just click on that. It will install something to basically your terminal which is a program that you can run um, things from on your computer and that's it's a terminal command called mono that it will install and that's how you're gonna have to run invent it alright so once you have those things installed go ahead and open up terminal as you can see right here and this will show up right here. Alright, you see my... It'll just say this. Go to CD. So just press put in CD. And then desktop or wherever you put your um, InVedit folder. Oops. Alright, there we go. Now it's on the desktop. So then you do CD again. Go to the InVedit folder. Basically, that just CD command just like moves you to folders, and you have to do go folder by folder as you see right here. All right, now I'm in the InVedit folder, so let's open up that folder. We can see we have the InVedit.exe in here, so this is what we're gonna put in. We now have the mono command, as you can see when I put put mono in here, it tells me all the things I could use mono with. So here we go, mono inv edit dot exe, and it will open up something down here. It might take a little while to load the first time, but as you can see, we have this kind of weird looking inv edit if you've ever seen it on Windows. It doesn't really look like this as much, at least on the newer Windows Vista and stuff. Maybe that's how it looks on XP, doubt it though. But um, yeah, this is basically how you do it. And then from here, you can just open it from your game. Um, just click on this, because you actually have to find it on the Mac, because they it doesn't know where it is. So just go to, you got to go find your level files. So, like this. Oops. And right here, Minecraft. Then go to your saves, world one, level dot that. And as you can see, this is a new level that I just made just so I could show you this. Um, and I only have two things. And in order to get new things, just go scroll. What, what would I want? Hmm. Let's just get myself a good, uh, let's put on this diamond hat. And I'll get like some diamond blocks, you know, pimping. All right, here we go, 64 of those. Or, yeah, so now we have 64 of those. You can also get like water, that's the way to get it. You can get admin fire, you can get all the good things, all the goods, I guess you could say. But yeah, let me just show you how this works now. So, save. And I'm going to close it now. There's some errors that happen, but it doesn't really seem to bother it. At least that's how it goes on mine. And then let's open up Minecraft. Then let's go to single player world. And when I open up my inventory, you see I have my 
nice little diamond head on and my 64 diamond blocks that I just added so yeah I hope all you Mac users out there like this tutorial even if you're a Windows user right now just go ahead and download it and vet it it's uh, the best program as I've seen so far for inventory editing but there's also mine edit which is pretty awesome because you can use all, you can like do everything with mine and it but I think Invedit is a lot smoother. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be doing some Let's Play videos on here along with some of my friends that might also do this as well. Alright, so yeah, thanks. Uh, see you next time.